in my photography, most of the time, I'm simply just walking around with my camera, shooting life as it unfolds, looking for a particular moment, particular emotion, which I think people would look at and think, wow, this is interesting. Probably the best cityscape in the world is right here in Rio. There's no city that comes remotely close. It's just an incredible location. Brazil is an emerging economy. There's a lot of social upward mobility. This is a happening place. Most of my photography career has been spent in the documentary genre, working for magazines, photographing areas of conflict. The Pirelli calendar is an entirely new direction for me. I thought, how can I try and make this my own and do it my way and bring something new to it? So it seemed to me that a really interesting direction would be to take some really gorgeous, beautiful women and really make a series of portraits of them right here in Rio. I'm very proud. I'm always being proud of being Brazilian. <laughs> How amazing this is. In Rio, with Steve McCurry, it's a very beautiful thing, and I'm very proud and honored to be part of this one. The tradition of the Pirelli calendar has been nudes since the beginning. I thought it would be better for me to take some of these fabulous women who have charities and worthwhile and interesting projects and to focus on them and to highlight them and their work. For me, it's a very beautiful day. It's like there is something like magical in the location and the contact with me and the Steve. I can see something between the camera and me inside. I wanted it to be clear that we were shooting in Rio, that we wanted a, a flavor of Brazil, and to show that, that this isn't like some disconnected, disembodied location on a beach somewhere. This is actually a real place. I found the favelas fascinating. These slums, they have the best view of the city. This is 
a view to dive for. I know it. We basically have a, a favela here in the foreground. We're actually in the favela. And then, of course, then Sugarloaf is this amazing view. I think it's such a beautiful moment here that we're able to be taking the photos in the favelas with the background of you know the development that has been going on and the beautiful nature behind us of course. He's amazing. You can tell the way that he shoots is very specific down to every last detail and I just love that. I think it's so amazing that Pirelli has decided to provide this incredible platform for powerful women and their causes. Since inception, we have rebuilt 57 schools around the world. Uh, this year, we will rebuild at least 11 to 13 new schools, and that's just the beginning. privilege to work with Steve. He captures life in a, such a special, uh, delicate way. Getting rained on definitely helped to, to get the layers off and, and to open that soul. When it rained, I was very comfortable with that. There's a mood to the rain and to a kind of a gloomy day, which I think is just beautiful and it's very emotional. Conditions were not easy. It was not easy because the tropical rain and there was water coming from everywhere. One of the things which I was really struck with right from the beginning was all this incredible graffiti. It's amazing. We were shooting in Lapa and it was wet, but it was beautiful, it was colorful, it's intense, there is history in the walls. It felt like a movie shot. What will make a change in Egypt is education. I thought I really would like to create a new kind of association in Egypt to enhance and maybe open the, the perspective of children. So, I mean, it's a huge aspiration, but I hope from a small thing to be able to make something out of it. I think it's a privilege, you know, to be Brazilian and to do music because we have such a rich culture. And I think Brazil is a country that has something to teach to the planet. I grew up in Brazil and we always said that Brazil was the country of the future. And I've been working here for 25 years and I feel that Brazil is reaching a better place in the world.
One of the things which I was really struck with right from the beginning about Rio were the parks. There's some incredible botanical gardens, rainforests that just seem to be like right in the city limits. Oh, did you hear the high pitch screen? Yeah, that's cool. That did you get them? Cool. <laughs> I do feel like I have probably the best career out there, and I found it like really appealing to be able to marry environmental and social well-being with the modeling with cause. I think now we're having a, a more mature conversation where we're starting to figure out that you know, having the environment intact and having the ecosystems intact really yield economic benefits. So I applaud both Pirelli and Steve for coming together because I think the marriage will actually create something that is unexpected in a way. <laughs> He's an artist in what he does. When I see this picture, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be Sonia. <laughs> To educate a child is to, to give them love, to give them a hope. So tomorrow they can compete in the big, huge world. Steve McCarry, he's unbelievable and it's a pleasure to be here working with him. And I feel even more special because I'm pregnant and I'm doing working with him. <laughs> I would not see any other photographer capturing the most beautiful image with a pregnant woman. He would know exactly how to show that. I met so many people in the hospital that you can see they're there out of love. And that was a lesson for me. And something just opened inside of me and I wanted to be involved somehow. So thanks for joining us on this shoot. I'm super excited. Yeah, no, come on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve. Pleasure. I'm Carly. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah, uh, this is an old train station, which has great light, and we were saving the the best for you. Best, just for me. <laughs> best for last. Okay, good. I'm kind of really excited to see him coming into the fashion world by doing this calendar together and sort of mixing, you know, how he does that and adding a little bit of fashion into it. I'm really, really excited to see the portraits.
that it's clothed, it brings the attention to who these women are outside of just their body. I mean, what they're doing and, and the voice that they have and the message that they're trying to spread. This is going to be such a special project that I know I'm going to look back at the rest of my life. And I think that these photos are going to be just hauntingly iconic. The Prelly calendar is one of the great photographic assignments. So I'm grateful and delighted and honored to have been a part of this project. I think that the pictures we've made were just magic. That's credit to the models. They're so gorgeous and they're so beautiful. You know, just look into my lens and that's all we need. There's nothing in the way. There's nothing left to say. There's just a perfect day for us to use. There's nothing else to see. I just wanna stay 